well done Kenji Rosberg, whose fighting drive has lifted him to fifth place in the championship with seven races still to go. But right at the end, Nigel Mansell's pushing, pushing in this searing heat, and surely that's too much even for him. And it is, he's fainted, and past him to fifth place goes Ginzani in the Osella. So, victory in the first Dallas Grand Prix to Keki Rosberg with Arnoux second, De Angelis third, Lafitte fourth, Ginzani fifth, and Mansell sixth. Alain Prost still leads the Drivers' Championship ahead of Lauda with De Angelis third, Arnoux up to fourth, Rosberg to fifth, and Piquet down to sixth. Ferrari have reduced McLaren's massive lead in the Constructors' Championship with JPS a close third, and Williams up to fourth. And thankfully, Nigel Mansell seems to be OK after a brave and determined effort to finish sixth and in good shape for the John Player British Grand Prix in two weeks' time at Brands Hatch, the highlight of the motor racing season for British fans. Together with the organisers of the race, we're running a competition, the winner of which will receive tickets for race day, grandstand seats and VIP treatment. A trip around the Grand Prix circuit in a Thundersport Chevron with the legendary Sir Jack Brabham at the wheel, the chance at a later date to take part in the Brands Hatch skid pan course and 10 lessons at the Brands Hatch Racing School. All you have to do is watch and listen to the clips coming up now and get your answers off to us as quickly as you can. There is the chicken flag, Michele Alboreto from Milan, Italy in the Benetton Tyrrell has won here at Detroit. Question number one is, what was the significance of that win as far as the engine of Alboreto's car was concerned? Question number two is quite simply, where is this track? The European Grand Prix at Brands Hatch last year and Derek Warwick in trouble in his tournament. The last question is, what was wrong with the car? Answers, please, on a postcard with your name and address on the left-hand side and your answers on the right. And the address to send your postcard to is Grand Prix Competition, BBC TV, Wood Lane, London W12 8QT. There'll be more opportunities to see the questions on breakfast time and next week's grandstand programmes. Answers must be with us by Thursday, July the 19th. The result of the competition will be announced in grandstand on Saturday, July the 21st. But it was Keki Rosberg who was today's hero at Dallas. And who better to present it with the winner's garland than Sue Ellen herself. And turning our attention to this tiny corner of the globe, here's a look at what the weather has in store. Most places will start dry and sunny tomorrow, and over much of Scotland and north-east England it'll be another hot day. Rain will reach Northern Ireland, Western Wales and south-west England during the morning, and spread to south-west Scotland, the Midlands, central southern England and the Channel Islands during the afternoon, with some thundery showers in the east in the evening. Temperatures will range from 22 degrees centigrade, 72 degrees Fahrenheit in the west, to 26 degrees centigrade, 79 degrees Fahrenheit in eastern England. And that brings us to the end of BBC One for tonight. If you're in the mood for further entertainment, then perhaps you'd like to lend an ear to Peter Clayton's Sounds of Jazz, which are now emanating from Broadcasting House and being transmitted on Radio 2. But on behalf of all here at Television Centre, may I, David Miles, wish you a very peaceful night. Good night.